Judge. Good morning, Wildcats. It is time for our daily announcements. We are from Ms. Quesada's seventh grade class. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Right, over, right hand over your heart facing the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Monday the 17th. Um, Brianna, what are we having for lunch today? Today for lunch, we will be having... Burrito bowl with taco meat, uh, refried beans with cheese, or whole grain sun butter and jelly sandwich, cheese stick, lime, roasted chickpeas, and salsa cup, tortilla chips, whole grain cinnamon churro with uh, crackers, uh, um, a whole apple, and a choice of milk. And for tomorrow on Tuesday, we will be having roasted rotini. Uh, chicken or drumstick or vegetarian chicken nuggets and seasoned sweet potato fries, fresh celery sticks, ranch dressing, whole grain birthday cake, graham crackers, blueberries, and a choice of milk. Uh, Grace, what can we expect for the weather today and tomorrow? Today we can expect a low of 32 degrees and a high of 45 degrees. Tomorrow has a low of 30 and a high of 47. Don't forget to wear any jackets or sweaters. It looks like we have a few, a one birthday actually, which is Maya, with Maya T. Um, and now so. some announcements from our principal, Miss Clemens. Hi. Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Welcome to our nice four-day week this week. We do not have school on Friday and the following Monday, so please make sure you remember that and make sure to remind your parents. This week, we also have parent-teacher conferences going on Tuesday night and Wednesday night from 2.45 to 6.45 on Tuesday and 2.45 to 6.15 on Wednesday. So please make sure to remind your parents to come out and meet your teachers and talk to your teachers. You'll also get your progress reports and your STAR test scores that evening if you come out. So make sure you join us. Um, since it's Monday and it's our Mindful Monday to go with our seven mindsets, I'm going to talk about dreaming big again. Miss Amy mentioned it last week. So when you dream big, everything in our lives from cell phones to shoes to makeup to social media was once someone's big idea. When we let ourselves have big dreams, we are increasing the expectations that we have for our lives. Think about what your big dream is. Because remember, Somebody had to think of everything that we use today, right? And if they hadn't thought about it, we wouldn't have it. So I like that saying there. I have something a little bit more on a sad note to discuss with you today. On Friday, when I was out at recess, I had to pick this up off the playground. And that makes me really, really sad because we know that there is not to be any food or drinks eaten at recess or on the playground. So this means somebody snuck this out and then just left it on the playground. Didn't even bother to bring it in and throw it away. Because if I start seeing this on the playground, what does that mean? No more vending machine. So let's make sure that we are not sneaking things out on the playground and we are following the school rules. Also, just a quick reminder, we have our October on track October going on. Any student who does not get an uh, office referral or a classroom behavior note will receive. Should we tell them, Miss Amy? Can can we tell them? Yeah, Please. you want to tell them? How about this? I'll tell them where it's from. I won't tell them what it is. Okay, that sounds good. Where's it from, Miss Amy? It is from a place called Mr. Churros. Ooh, see if you can figure it out. I hope everyone got signed up for Boosterthon or for our fun run this weekend, because don't forget any class that has 100% of their students signed up will receive a root beer float party. So make sure you get signed up, even if you don't get pledges, as long as you are signed up, your class can get the root beer floats. And I cannot wait to see who's going to be principal with me when this is all over. I'm very, very excited for that. That's all I have today, Miss Amy. What do you have? All right, Miss Clemens, I, I think 
that's going to be a middle schooler. That's what I'm going to say. I think the middle schoolers are going to compete to be principal for the day. So, Ms. Clems, I do want you to know this. We already have some students that have earned all the prizes up to the $150 level. And we are even going to purchase prizes for higher levels to keep this competition going. So, well done. That is done. amazing. Who is that, Ms. Amy? Do you know? I believe his initials are E R. Ooh, so he could maybe be principal for the day if, if other people don't get going soon. <laughs> All right, I just have one more thing. Again, the prizes are there for you. We are keeping track, so get yourself registered. We always have a great time at our fun run and we are looking forward to it. Um, as we continue on the month of October, it is anti-bullying month, obviously. And I just want to say a couple things to you about that. So we know this, not every angry outburst, not every dispute or disagreement is bullying. Bullying is something that happens when it is repeated. And when it's really someone is trying to have power over another person, it can be verbal. It can be something that if teasing, name calling, inappropriate comments or threatening, right? That's verbal. That is not okay. That is so wrong. And you know what? The research says this, not only is it bad for the person that is being bullied, but people who bully, life does not go well for them. So these are bad things on either end. There's also social bullying, okay? Leaving somebody out, telling other children not to be friends with somebody, spreading rumors, right? Embarrassing somebody in public. That's all social bullying. And then there's also physical bullying. That's where someone is actually getting hurt. So Again, it is not good, absolutely not good for the person being bullied, but it is not good for the person doing it. So that is harmful for any individual. And we do not want that at Whitman. We do not want that for you. Um, all right, ladies, would you close out our announcements, please? Yeah. Uh, tune in tomorrow and every day for more Wildcat News. Have a good day with Wildcats. We'll see you around the building. Go Wildcats, go.